I'm Rob Kerr, I'm from Sierra, I'm one of the development directors looking after a number of the anchor projects and thank you very much you, for all of you for coming along uh, this morning. Uh, normally on these occasions we do a big list of all the, uh, all the people that are here. I'm not going to do that because it's Saturday morning and we're, we should be much more relaxed than that. Um, uh, but look, this ground, this, this place, the history of Christchurch is much more about food gathering and food production. So this is a, another good day on our recovery where we talk about uh, where we've come from and where we're going. So I'd like to invite the Prime Minister to, uh, well, to make an announcement. So I just want, I want to acknowledge all of my MPs and ministers that are here, obviously Nikki and Amy, uh, Nook and Joe. Um, so look, the purpose of the community garden is to do a whole bunch of things really. Um, it's to bring the community in together, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, have a place where food can be grown and that can be used not only for volunteers and people that need it, but also for a community cafe that's going to be um, over the way. And uh, these sort of concepts of community gardens are, are not, uh, this is the first time it's happened, they're not unique. Uh, you sort of see them around the world and they, they're amazing things, they're a great opportunity for people to come along, um, put in some labour, put in some time, do some things that they love, but actually to produce some food that can be used for the benefit of other people and they draw communities in together and they're really, really cool things. And I think part of um, the opportunity that's here in Christchurch as you go through the, the rebuilding phase after the earthquakes of course, is to do some things that are just unique and a bit different and the, the, the frames that are going to be built on here um, for residential, it's really important actually that we have a mixture of things going on here and it's not all just houses or all just buildings or whatever, that you do have that sense of a community and I think the garden's going to allow that because people will come along and they'll love working in it and doing things and they'll love um, the opportunity to pick the fruit uh, and vegetables that'll be here. It'll also be a great thing for kids, um, you've probably seen Michelle Obama's been uh, pushing the, the same concept actually at the White House. Uh, they've got their own bees there, they've got uh, their own gardens there, and they've had lots of kids through trying to just educate them on you know, how food grows and how important it can be, so that's really good. And I reckon it's going to be one of those things that will work remarkably well, people will be quite surprised. And uh, I think it'll be one of those things that's really well looked after, you know, you go for a walk around um, and you always run the risk that someone's going to go and sort of uh, take a whole lot of stuff, but actually in the end I think you'll find it'll be something that the community will really care for. So. Great to be here and uh, look forward to its development and uh, looking forward to eating some of the produce over the years ahead. So thanks very much. So I'd like to invite uh, Matt Morris from the Food Resilience Network to, uh, to talk about the garden. Great, thank you. Um, and I'd like to welcome uh, Prime Minister, Ministers of the Crown, um, Mayor Leanne Dalzell, Christchurch City Councillors, uh, the team from Sarah and all the community partners who are here who have helped to um, to make this design and proposal possible. It's just awesome to have you all here. Um, and we'd like to welcome you to the site that we've uh, provisionally called Otakaro Orchard. So it's great to be at this moment. Um, it's been a really big journey for us to come up with the proposal with lots of hair-raising moments um, along the journey. And I, I was just thinking on the way here about <clears throat> one moment just just a few hours before the proposal was due with Sarah when it was being worked on by Stefan in France and some of us in, in Christchurch and Chloe hooning across Canada in a train. Um, but we got there, thank God for high speed internet on trains. Yeah. And, um, and I think you know one of the reasons that so many people have come in around this project is because it's a great vision. It's, um, it's a totally transformative vision. So what it is, essentially, is, a, is it a community garden, a community orchard, and a community cafe. But it's also what we're thinking about as the shop front for the, um, the food resilience movement that's been gathering momentum ever since the Christchurch and Canterbury earthquakes. Because we know here what it means to have food resilience and food security. We know what it means to have a disrupted food system. And we, we know that what we want is a flourishing local food economy. So, um, yeah, so that's what, what we imagine here is that this site will become an important place in a network that we're, that we're calling sometimes a multinodal food system, which is a fancy way of saying catchy make <laughs> yeah, catchy. catchy. <laughs> it's a fancy way of saying making more good food more accessible to more people in our communities. So this site is also an education space. We imagine um, community workshops, there will be vocational training opportunities 
and that kind of informal learning that happens when you know you're just gardening along somebody who might know something a little bit more than you do um, but it's also a place where people can come and just sit together around the picnic table or, or in the barbecue area and share food with one another or just sit and reflect you know on one of the benches in the meadow on what it's been like in Christchurch in Canterbury over the last five years and we're really humbled and we feel really privileged and honoured that this site is right adjacent to the, to the earthquake memorial site. That's really important to us. And it's also a place, I think, where people might be thinking, well, what's, what's the future for the garden city? What does it mean to be a garden city in the 21st century? And I imagine that it probably means something quite different from what it meant to be a garden city in the 20th century. Don't you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's also a place of mahinga kai. This is a concept that we're, we're only just starting to learn about. And we're looking to help from mana whenua to help us to really understand what that fully means. But what we know is that this place will be a place that nourishes people's bodies, their minds, their hearts, and even their souls. Because, you know, when you just plant a single seed, or plant a seedling, it kind of opens people's hearts. Anyway, that's our vision. So how do we, how do we make it a reality? Well, we, we estimate that this project is going to cost something in the order of $1.7 million. And um, so we have our work cut out for us. And we are, we're, we're currently seeking project partners and sponsors and funders. And we have a crowdfunding campaign that's, um, that's just being launched today. So that's on Give a Little. It's on the sign here, Give a Little slash cause slash otakaro orchard and we're hoping to raise two hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars by, by August to help us you know get the show on the road um, so just just finally I'd really like to thank our funders the Rata Foundation and the Christchurch City Council without um, without your support this wouldn't have been possible and I'd specifically like to say thanks to Stefan from Wood Limited who drew this amazing rendering of the, the design that the design team came up with. I hope you all get a chance to check it out. Um, and also Matt from Pop-Up Gardens who built this mm. so that we can grow some food mm. and get gardening today, which is what I think we should probably do next, isn't it? Thanks so thank you all for coming. Thank you so much for being with us. Well done. Yes. So it begins. Yes, yeah, so it begins. <laughs>